It is January 8th, 2026, and we're tracking two fronts that should bring an increased chance for rainfall across parts of the Hawaiian Island chain. The first one being pretty weak, the second one potentially bringing some heavier showers. Hey everybody, meteorologist Drew Davis alongside with you. We've got a no hype weather forecast video for you today, like we do every weekday on this YouTube channel. Let's just get right into it and show you what's going on outside the window. A quick look at our first alert radar and satellite. The only area where we're seeing showers outside today is over on the eastern and southeastern side of Hawaii Island. We've been seeing a few sprinkles out there. Most of the heavier showers have remained offshore, at least over the last hour or so. Very light rainfall coming down in Volcano and also moving closer to Puna and Kalapana. Just south of Hilo, we're also seeing a few sprinkles out there. But it's been mostly sunny across a majority of the island chain today. Sunny out over Maui County, not a ton of rainfall over Oahu. If anything, we're just seeing a few sprinkles along the Ko'olau and the Waianae Mountain Range, and then just moving over to Kauai as well. Relative dry, But I want to zoom out and show you what's going on. At least over the next couple of days, we're going to be watching this very weak front that's off to the northwest of us right now. This is going to continue moving down towards the southeast and might stall just around Kauai as we're going into Aloha Friday. This is going to bring maybe a few showers for the Garden Isle and not much rainfall for the rest of the state. Overall, it's going to be relatively dry as we're going into this weekend and throughout Aloha Friday. And this is also cutting us off from the trade wind flow. So we've got very light winds out there. Let's zoom out even more. I want to show you what's going on as we're going into the beginning of next week. We're watching the development of this next mid-latitude cyclone out there. This is still getting its act together. It's going to continue moving off towards the east and northeast over the next couple of days, but it's going to help develop another potentially stronger front that's going to be moving in on Monday and Tuesday of next week and potentially could move across a majority of the island chain. So here's what we're tracking out there. Mostly sunny skies, lots of sunshine out there over the next couple of days. Calm winds continue throughout today, tomorrow, into the weekend. And like I've been mentioning, we're tracking two fronts out there. The first one being pretty weak and mostly for Kauai. Some parts of Kauai might even miss out on rainfall completely. And the second one bringing a better chance for heavier showers that could move down all the way to Hawaii Island. So let's give you a look at the big picture, the overall uh, weather pattern with what's going on. Again, we've got that weak front that's off to the northwest of us right now. It's attached to this mid-latitude cyclone that's up closer to the Aleutian Islands right up here. You can see the lower pressure on our surface pressure map. Again, this is going to move slowly closer to Kauai over the next couple of days, really throughout Friday, and then fall apart. High pressure really builds back in as we're going into Friday, at least directly to the north of us. So still pretty sunny out there as we're going to Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Very weak showers possible for over on Kauai. Then we're watching the development of, again, that next mid-latitude cyclone in the northern Pacific Ocean. This one could potentially create a much stronger front. Still, winds are going to be relatively weak. We've got lower pressure directly to the north of us. We're really not seeing the winds being driven by strong high pressure to our north or northeast. There is a stronger high pressure system at the surface over the western coast of the United States right now. But as we're going forward throughout Saturday into Sunday, you start to see that cold front getting closer, potentially bringing some rainfall as we're going into Monday across parts of the entirety of the state, starting with Kauai, then going down to Oahu, Maui County, and some Models are having this front potentially falling apart as we're going into uh, going as it starts to get closer to Hawaii Island. Some long range models are hinting at another front coming in sometime in the middle of next week. But again, that's pretty far out in the weather models. I just want to say that it's on our radar, but I'm not putting any stock in it just yet. Our mid level flow, again, because of the ridging that's going on directly over us, we've got a pretty stable atmosphere out there. A little bit weaker high pressure as you're going further east. That's why we're seeing some showers over near Puna and the southeastern side of Hawaii Island. And let's just go even further in time because you see we're really not seeing a big trough dipping down until we get into the beginning of next week where we're seeing this trough dipping down from the northern Pacific helping develop that mid-latitude cyclone and bring that front closer to us potentially bringing some heavier showers out there. So again this is also pretty visible going on at the upper levels so moving up a little bit higher in the atmosphere. We've got ridging hanging out over the island chain throughout a majority of the next couple of days. Pretty stable weather out there. A few showers, but overall, mostly sunny skies. Going into this weekend, you're seeing this upper level ridge really starting to dip further south down. You can see this is going into Monday, helping develop that storm system in the northern Pacific Ocean and helping develop that front that's going to bring us a better chance for rainfall. Again, this is the tail end of a front. It's not going to be a complete washout, but we're watching for a better chance for rainfall out there, hoping as some of this rainfall 
rainfall gets down to Maui County and the island of Maui because it seems like they've really missed out on a lot of the rainfall from the last two winter storm systems that we've seen. So here's a look at the first alert future cast. This is the wide view of the European weather model. You can see the front that we're expecting going into Friday kind of falling apart on top of Kauai. I'm going to draw out where it is. It's kind of easy to see right here. But again, this is a very weak front. A better chance for showers over on the Garden Isle, but not a ton of rainfall. I want to, I want to reiterate that. And let's go into the beginning of this weekend. Really nice weather out there. Mostly sunny skies. And we're seeing the development of that next front. It's moving in. This is Monday around 1 a.m. First starts out with Kauai, moving down to Oahu and Maui County as we're getting into around midday. Potentially getting down to Hawaii, Hawaii Island, but could fall apart as we're going into late Monday night and then going into Tuesday. Long range models are hinting at, again, another front that could potentially move, be moving closer to us as we're going into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. So we're watching that pretty closely to see how that evolves out in the the weather models. Here's a look at the local view. Again, I've been talking about how we're still expecting a few showers to hang out over the eastern and southeastern side of Hawaii Island throughout Thursday evening and Friday. A little bit drier for a majority of the state going into Friday afternoon. There's that front again. Not a ton of rainfall for Kauai, but just some passing showers out there. Lingering moisture over on the eastern and southeastern side of Hawaii Island. The winds are overall southeasterly over there, still bringing some moisture up towards the um, the uh, the southeastern side of Hawaii Island. That's the words. Those are the words I was looking for. And then just going into Saturday and Sunday, pretty nice out there. If anything, pop-up showers developing because of the sea breezes with light winds in the forecast. Then we're watching that next front that moves in. This is Monday morning. Showers moving down towards Oahu and Maui County as we're going into Monday midday. Moving down to Maui, the island of Maui, Monday afternoon. And then getting closer to Hawaii Island and falling apart as we're going into Monday evening and early Tuesday morning. Again, we are watching the development of another system that could start to bring Kona winds out there and start to introduce some more moisture into the atmosphere. So we're watching again for another wet weather maker going into the middle of next week. So we've got a couple of fronts that we're watching. I've been saying two, but long range models are hinting at a third coming in in the middle of next week. Here's the American model. Plays out pretty similarly. We're still seeing showers over the southeastern side of Hawaii Island. Pretty dry for the rest of the state. Showers for Kauai throughout Friday, but not a ton of rainfall out there. Mostly sunny out there throughout Saturday and Sunday. Some lingering moisture for the Garden Isle from that weak front that falls apart over the weekend. And then we start to see as we're going into Monday, that system moves down from the northeast across the majority of the state. Falls apart over Hawaii Island the GFS and the Euro today have kind of pushed it past Hawaii Island so we're still going to see where exactly this front lines up especially as it starts to stall around the eastern half of the island chain again we have partnered with the Hawaii Climate Data Portal these are uh, this is data from the University of Hawaii at Manoa the people who work on this have allowed us to display this data in our weather casts and they do a lot of really good work the Hawaii Mesonet their weather observing stations across the the entirety of the island chain providing some really invaluable data we're really data sparks out here in hawaii a few showers yesterday this is again for january 7th over uh kind of just Malka of Hilo out there. Not a ton of rainfall over the past couple of days. Light sprinkles over the southeastern side of Maui. Not much rainfall, if any rainfall, for Oahu yesterday. And then the majority of the rainfall yesterday did fall over near Mount Waialeale over on Kauai. So thank you again to the Hawaii Mesonet and the Hawaii Climate Data Portal for providing us with that data. Here's our rainfall accumulation map going forward over the next couple of days. You're still seeing showers over near the southeastern and eastern side of Hawaii Islands, Apuna, Volcano, Hilo, all the way down towards Ocean View as well. And we've got that front moving in for Kauai. Take a look. I've been saying how it's not going to be a ton of rainfall. This first one's going to be very, very weak. A tenth of an inch in Kekaha, two tenths of an inch over in Hanalei. So it's not something that I'm really worried about in terms of impacts out there. Then we're watching for the beginning of next week. I'm not comfortable with showing you the rainfall totals just yet because it's still pretty far out in the weather models when it comes to just showing you the raw data like that. Our winds outside, pretty southeasterly, easterly over in Hawaii Island. We're seeing southerly winds in town as of the recording of this video around 2.30 p.m. Hawaii Hawaiian Standard Time. Southerly winds over in Lihue. And then, of course, here's a look at our wind cast going forward. Pretty variable winds. We might be seeing more northwesterly winds with that weak front over on Kauai. But light winds sticking around. We might see the development of some sea breezes in the afternoons. 
which could allow some pop-up showers, but again, mostly dry as we're going into this weekend. And again, with the light winds, still seeing the fog just hanging around the entirety of the state. You might be able to feel it. Uh, it's light fog out there. It's continuing to seep out of Halima'uma'u crater. This specifically is a look at the sulfur dioxide that's coming out of Kilauea over in Halima'uma'u crater. But fog is in the air and is expected to just linger and hang around over the next several days. Hey, let's talk surf because there's a potentially a big swell moving in as we're going into Saturday. Another larger one moving into Monday. Going into Friday morning, north-facing shores are on the decline around 4 to 6 feet. West-facing shores around 2 to 4 out there. South-facing shores around 1 to 3. And east-facing shores also around 1 to 3. Again, this is for your Friday morning. And let's go hour by hour in our swell forecast. Here's that big swell we're expecting that's going to be moving in early Saturday morning. Potentially getting to right around high surf warning maybe just below high surf warning criteria and then a much larger swell is expected to move in as we're going into monday and tuesday definitely triggering high surf warnings out on north and west facing shores so again another big country swell is going to be moving in over the weekend and also as we're going into the beginning of next week so again we're getting some winter surf out there uh here's your tide tables here's just a quick look at oahu harbors in honolulu harbor uh High tide again is happening tomorrow around 9.01 a.m. Moving down to Maui, we're running through these pretty quickly. On January 9th, tomorrow, high tide over in Kahului Harbor, 6.09 in the morning. Hilo high tide tomorrow around uh, 7.01 a.m. And then moving back over to Kauai, high tide in Nawiliwili is going to be around 7.29 a.m. tomorrow. Our island by island forecast as well, a weak front for Kauai. You can see mostly sunny, a few showers out there. Hanapepe not seeing a ton of rainfall. Uh, sprinkles over in Lihue, Kapa'a might miss out. But again, it's going to be hit or miss tomorrow over on Kauai. Oahu, sunny and hazy. Again, with the fog that's still hanging around the state, you'll definitely be able to feel it, especially if you're really sensitive to the sulfur dioxide and the other sulfate aerosols released from the volcano. On Oahu for tomorrow, Aloha Friday, sunny and hazy, isolated showers, not a ton of rainfall as you continue to move further eastward. Kahului waking up around 66, a little bit warmer in for a low over in Kihei around 68 tomorrow. And then Kailua Kona side of Hawaii Island, sunny and hazy. 81 in Hilo, 67 in the morning, mostly sunny and hazy out there. Still a few showers over in Volcano, maybe some sprinkles moving up towards Pahoa and Puna. The northern portions of Hawaii Island may see a few sprinkles possible over in Waimea. But again, it's going to be mostly sunny out there. Not expecting a ton of rainfall over the next couple of days. Really, the rain next big rainmaker is going to be going into next week. That's about it for today. Thank you again for tuning in and watching all the, all the way to the end. If you want to help support my content and get it pushed out more in the YouTube algorithm, make sure to watch these videos all the way to the end. Uh, share them with your friends. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and smash that notification bell uh, to get updated whenever these videos go live in the afternoon every weekday. And uh, that's about it. Comment where you're watching from below, and I will see you tomorrow, weather permitting. This has been meteorologist Drew Davis.